my god. Is that a dog? Is that a cat? What is that? Is that the cat? Oh my god. Oh my god. The cat is literally being turned into garden salad. No. Why is it sleeping there casually? Why is it not moving? Guys, it's such, and this is dumb Sims logic that only Simmers can understand. The worst is when your Sim is eating on a table and the cat jumps up on the table, takes a poop on the table whilst you're eating, and you will still eat with that poop in front of you on your plate on the table because the game doesn't recognize that the cat's there whilst you're eating. It is the most funny yet most disturbing thing I've ever seen in the game. My Sim getting ready to sleep in a randomly generated sleepwear outfit. Do you know what is the worst thing about sleepwear outfits? It's when they put the shoes on. Why do they put the shoes on? Always. Another one I don't understand is when they put sunglasses on. Like as if you just have this big open glass pane up above you and it's suddenly daytime and you're sleeping you need sunglasses. But do you know what gets me the most is when they randomly put piercings on when they go to bed or when they go in their swimming wear outfit. It's like all other occasions they do not wear piercings, they do not wear jewellery but when they go into sleep they just want to put it on and it's like the only outfit they've got it on with. Why would you put it in when you go to bed? If anything you take it off. Teenagers in the Sims 2 and 3, teenagers in the Sims 4. Why are Sims 4 teenagers exactly the same as adults? Teens, young adults and adults are exactly the same in the Sims 4. For those who don't know by the way they basically rushed the release of Sims 4 and they didn't have the time to make the teens look any different from the adults and the young adults. So they just kind of shove them into one pile and they all look exactly the same. It has happened so many times where my adult Sim has found another Sim that's pretty hot looking. I go over to them, try and flirt with them and I think why can't I flirt with this Sim and it turns out they're a teen. And it is so bad because it's not like my fault. Like it's not like I'm doing it in a weird creepy way. Like I'm doing it with innocence thinking they were an adult because they literally all look exactly the same. And also how do Sims just jump from being like seven years old to 17 years old in like a flash? Like it's just too quick. My sim trying to find real love to have a child with, the sperm banks. They are literally the only two male sims in the game that you would ever do it with. If I had to choose, it would be Mortimer Goth. I've tried flirting with Mortimer so many times. I've tried so hard to make him break up with Bella for me in the sims and he just does not do it. He never budges. He is one of the most difficult characters to flirt with I've ever tried to flirt with. There need to be more bachelors in the sims. I mean, there needs to be more townies in general. There need to be more lots. There need to be bigger worlds. I mean, this meme here is opening a whole can of worms I just do not think need to be opened. I remade the Dine Out pack box art to make it more accurate. Dine Out, if you can. It is honestly shocking that they are still selling the Dine Out pack. It is literally a faulty product. If a company sells a faulty electronic product, they would, you know, get rid of that product, change it, offer people an apology and a refund, but they haven't done that with Dine Out. It's literally a faulty product because it doesn't work. For those who don't have the pack, like whenever you play with Dine Out, like it just doesn't work. You can't sit down in a restaurant. The waiters won't come and serve you, you don't get your food, you don't eat your food, you don't get offered different courses, they don't clean up your food, they don't leave the restaurant. It is honestly such an ordeal. Imagine being this bad at your job. I said before, the firemen are so bad. They are so annoying. I honestly hate the firemen in The Sims 4 so much. They are literally terrible. The AI of the firemen, they probably made it in their sleep. They just chucked it in last minute in some random update because they do not work well at all. That's if they even turn up because they rarely ever even turn up to your property. My first mermaid sim and the first time I've discovered these terrifying fish eyes and cast no CC. Mermaids in the Sims 4 are terrifying. They are literally absolutely terrifying. They are so scary. They are even scarier than the vampires in vampire form. Like they are so bad. The teeth, oh, the teeth always get me. I honestly hate the teeth of the mermaid so much. Me with my 14 save files. New game. Me. Unfinished game. Unfinished game. Unfinished game. Unfinished game. Unfinished game. I thought I was the only person who does this because I see people with legacy save files with 10 generations where for sims honestly guys i've never lasted more than half a generation i do not know how people can open up the sims and just load a previous save file it is not happening every time i open it there is a brand new save and i'll spend four hours creating the perfect sim in cast and i'll think to myself this is the last sims save file i'll ever make this will be my final save file this will be my legacy file this will be my main file i will always use this file and then i play it for about 30 minutes and then i never touch it again a neurosurgeon who spends 15 years of life studying and practicing medicine. My sim who played chess for 15 hours. Why is Sims logic like this? All you have to do is play chess and boom, you're a doctor, you're a pharmacist, you're whatever you want to be. What's that? You don't know how to build a rocket? That's okay. Just play chess in the local park for a few hours and then you'll know how to build a rocket. No problem. What's wrong with my sim? Why does everybody look at her shocks? Probably because she's wearing skinny jeans in 2022. Guys, if you're still wearing skinny jeans, chuck them in the bin. They do not belong 
on this planet anymore. Skinny jeans are out. Please stop wearing skinny jeans. No one. Houses built by the community. Looking stunning. Houses built by EA employees. Um, not so stunning. I wonder why it is like that. I feel like the houses are just built by the EA employees for fun. I imagine somebody in EA being like, look mate, do you want to build this house for this lot? And they're like, yeah, sure. And it's just like some random person who's not actually employed to build. They're employed to do something else, but they just shoved it off on them because it's cheaper than actually paying for somebody to do it properly. In recent years, they have actually hired real simmers, like real sims players to actually build it for them. And they've got so much better. But in the past, oh my gosh, they were horrendous. Me trying to find good male CC that actually has fashion sense and isn't made for preppy e-boys. Why is it so hard to find CC for men in the sims? It is horrendous. It is so difficult, which leads on to another point. Why does nobody play with men in the sims? Why is there always women? 99% of CC is for female sims because only people play with female sims. Is it sexist? Oh my God, a sim is sexist? Is that a thing? I hate this game. Why? She was sleeping. Okay, she's just got up out of the bed. Now she's getting back in the bed. Now she's getting back out of the bed. She's gonna get back in again. She's getting back in again. She's getting, what is she doing? I just love the caption. I hate this game. I just hate the game so much. How long is this video? About 30 seconds. That's a whole 30 seconds about doing this again and again. The Sims resource loading for subscribers. Super fast sports car. The Sims resource loading for non-subscribers. Guys, I hate the Sims resource. Anybody who creates CC that puts this on Sims resource, please stop it. Uh, the Sims resource is such a cash grab. It is a worse cash grab than EA themselves. Video games cause violence. Me working on the fifth generation of my legacy pharmacy in the Sims. Did I say legacy pharmacy? I think I just said legacy pharmacy instead of legacy family. Guys, I'm dyslexic. Things come out wrong. It's like when your grandma comes up to you when you're playing a game like Sims or Minecraft. Like, are you winning? Are you winning? It's like, oh, the Sims isn't that kind of game. You don't win. Although thinking about it, that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't really play the Sims all the time. I do like the Sims, but I just find it boring without the challenge. And I think because there's not that element of winning, I do get kind of bored of the Sims. BB.move objects on. Honestly, why is it so tempting when you learn that cheats, but everything at a slug? As soon as you learn the BB.move objects on, every single object you place at a slight slug. The worst thing is, I remember when I first started playing the Sims, and I would make everything slanted, like the bed a little bit slanted, the sofa a bit slanted, the table a bit slanted. I did it because I thought it made it look more normal and more natural. But in real life, when would you ever have your bed frame placed slantedly or a bookshelf in a slanted way? Never. Yeah, I always used to just do it to make it look more edgy, whatever that means. Like this toilet here in this horrendous bathroom. I mean, I'm sorry, but imagine trying to poop there. At the very least, you wouldn't have to get up to wash your hands. You could say sat down and wash your hands. I mean, you know, when you're having it, oh, is this a little bit too much information? Is this a bit too much? Now nah, I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. You only live once. I'm gonna say it. You know when you're having a poo and you wipe it and you accidentally get a little bit on your fingers now and again. Guys, don't tell me that's never happened to you before because it's happened to all of us before. If you're in this toilet, like you could just wash your hands whilst you sat there like it's totally chill. I think it's a pretty practical idea if you ask me. Sims players be like, I'm gonna play for 52 hours straight and then never touch the game again for three years. Yes, I always say this. This is the only way Simmers play The Sims. I don't know if any of you have noticed, by the way, but I haven't played The Sims 4 on my YouTube channel for like two months now. Like I just do not play the game anymore. I do all of these fun reaction videos and meme videos, but I honestly just never play the game because I'm so bored of the game now. It is one of those things that it just takes a while for you to get back into it. I'm exactly the same with Minecraft, weirdly. And another one, why is this seems so addictive but only for a short amount of time like all you do is play the sims you don't sleep you don't eat it's like you're on drugs for around two days and you forget about it for the next whole year exactly so many people are having this problem it's not just me i'm sure it's not just me if it's you let me know down below as well because i'm so curious sims 2 pizzas versus sims 4 pizzas if you're ever trying to make an argument about why the sims 2 is so much better than the sims 4 just show them this comparison about how much more effort went into the sims 2 than went in the sims 4 Lazy game reviews. I have almost zero interest in covering The Sims 4 anymore and even less interest in the new pack out today. Don't know when or if there will be a video about it as it feels pointless to continue repeat my thoughts on the series. There's only so many ways I can say this sucks. LGR reviews for The Sims 4 are the best Sims 4 reviews I've ever seen. I'm honestly obsessed with his Sims reviews. They are the only real Sims reviews you ever need to watch. And he always complains about the game and how much it sucks because it basically does suck. I know it's a little bit harsh, but I think 
Star Wars was probably the final straw for most people who play The Sims. It was for me when I saw the Star Wars pack being released. I was like, oh my god, what is this? And do you know what? I haven't actually purchased a new pack since Star Wars came out. I purchased a kit once, but like that was it. I literally haven't purchased any packs since Star Wars has come out. It really did leave a bad taste in my mouth. Guys, I love reacting to funny Sims memes and I've done it so many times. So make sure you check out the video here to see another one. Bye-bye.